Why, hello there, friends. This is GG Your Face, and I'll be talking about game number two between Sock playing as the light blue Protoss at the nine o'clock position, and Sarens playing as the light green Terran at the three o'clock position. I don't know if you guys heard about the rumors, but there's gonna be a patch 1.2, and in patch 1.2, Blizzard said they're gonna fix the chat channel issues and some ladder I think and ranking issues I think that's gonna be super exciting because we do need a change and I do want to talk to my opponents I mean chat with my opponents via text and if I can actually talk to them that would be even more awesome because they'd be like hey look do you see your SCV no that's because I just killed it <laughs> in any event I hope you guys enjoy game number one if you haven't seen it definitely check it out because it's one of the better player player <laughs> Protoss versus Terran games I've ever seen by any players this is game number two, and they go for SC2 Cup number 41. So this is the part number two. I think there's a couple more games, if I'm not mistaken. This probe is checking out the Zonaga Watchtower. It's always a good idea to check out the Zonaga Watchtower if you're playing against a Terran, because they could lift, they could very well lift off their command center at the very beginning and grab this gold expansion here, and they could bunker up with some barracks, and that would make it increasingly difficult for you to break, so it's very, very important that you know that very early ahead on in the game. We do see SCV coming off the line to pick off this probe that's annoying the other SCV, but the probe very, very smartly does peel off when it reaches zero XP. That is exactly the harassment you need to do as a Protoss player against Terran, because Terran actually have to have their SCV by their building while they're building their production building, then here we see another engagement, that's because this probe has regenerated its HP, and once again, when it hits zero shield, it's gonna run around. At the same time, a marine is being produced, this is the first unit that can help you get rid of that pesky little probe, a cybernetics core is going down for Sock at the moment, oh yes, by the way, if you guys enjoy my videos, please comment and click the like button it would help me tremendously in something or other <laughs> I'm not quite sure but I just wanna see because I haven't actually mentioned it to you guys to click the like button or whatever or subscribe yeah that would be fun too In any event, we do see a Stalker is giving Colonel Boosted, and that will be able to help him get rid of that SCV. And a Marine is coming back, and this probe is actually going to try to run back, but a second Marine will catch him. This is a very good play, or a very good attempt at a play by Sock, as I think this probe will go down in the corner, and yes, it does go down. But oftentimes, the Marine or the other player will just send him on A attack, and when you run out of the screen, because the probe does have really, really good speed, you can just simply try to run the pro back and get back into the base and this stalker is trying to catch the one marine or the two marines that he thinks is around this corner or so a warp gate is being researched at the moment from the cybernetics core and a second gateway as well two gases have been gotten by both players i believe yes both players do have two guys if we take a look at the income tab right now both players are about even almost exactly the same a little bit more scvs i mean a little bit more probes for the protoss player but the mule is making up for all the difference for Sarids, and we do see Starport as well as the factory going up with a 111 build. And these probes are going to help this sentry track down that final SCV and get rid of him. It's really important you get rid of it because he does have a Stargate being built in the back. Stargate in not the best of positions because usually when you scan, let's say if you scan here, you will catch that Stargate at the edge. But a lot of players, they do like to scan on the edges, so he may be hoping that Sarens is going to scan the edge. The tech lab going immediately, attaching to the starport. Maybe a Banshee will be able to come out relatively soon. And I think the Stargate has just finished right now, and Cloak and Banshee is currently being researched by the Terran player. Additional pylons going on on the side. Ooh, for your main building, it's always a good idea to power them with two pylons. I'm not sure if this cybernetics core is actually being powered by this pylon. It looks a little bit short of that one. So it might not be the best idea. And we do see a scan go up. And I think that scan might have catch a glimpse of the starport at the edge. And yes, that scan does catch a glimpse. If this starport was a little bit further down, he would not have been able to see it. But the Banshee, along with the cloak, will be able to come out very, very shortly. And I think because that scan went off... Sock is actually going to throw down a robotics facility because oftentimes if a pro Terran player scans that a Protoss player does not have the robotics facility, he will go for the Banshee. So this robotics facility, although a little bit late because the Banshee is already out, will be able to help Sock get back into the game because he saw that scan from Sarens. So a very, very reactive game from both players. This Banshee running out and this pro will 
know that Saren is going to expand. Very, very good positioning. We do see one Phoenix around the map and second Phoenix, but these both these Phoenix will not be able to catch that Banshee. This Banshee is just going to be able to get inside the base of Sock, and Sock doesn't have too much inside his base at the moment. He does have some Phoenix, and ooh, this Phoenix might be able to come in. Ooh, and that Banshee does cloak right in time, and now he's forced to produce an Observer, and this Banshee will be able to get a couple of kills. We do see he has two kills at the moment, a third kill, and this, he should really Chrono Boost. No, he does have a Chrono Boost. He really needs to get that Observer out. This Banshee does manage to kill off five drones, and I mean five probes, and he was able to stop the mining for quite a bit, and now, with the counter potion, he's going to pick up some SCVs. <laughs> He's going to pick up some Marines because he's a little bit annoyed, I suppose. Not the best thing there, but he will be able to pick off that one mule. It's about 200 minerals. Well, not 200 minerals. It was at the end of its lifetime. This Banshee in the background. A Raven is being produced at the moment by Sarens. And he's going to be able to pick up this SCV and will be able to force that command. So it's be slightly delayed as he's getting his own Nexus as well. We do see Vikings coming out as well. Siege tanks and Marines at the moment. The... Barracks actually lifted, so he doesn't. He knows that Sock doesn't have too many ground units. That's why it's okay for him to not block off the entrance to his base. Some Marines coming out to the middle, and this Banshee's gonna go inside as well. Are these Phoenixes? And this Phoenix is gonna pick off a couple of SCVs. It's really important to pick off the SCVs by the side because it forces your opponent to micro a little bit more than usual to put those SCV back instead of just clicking a mineral patch. And we do see Banshee is gonna come back here. We'll be able to rack up some more kills and we will keep a kill count. Look at the kill count here and we'll just watch the Phoenixes fly around at the moment. And I think he did get the Observer in position and that only forced him to only get two SCV kills. There's one that looks like one or two. Vikings flying around the map, that looks like one Viking. And we do see Zilog legs are being researched at the moment. Very, very good idea because Zilogs are great against these Marines, especially when they can close the distance very, very quickly. And now he's going to take off two more SCVs, I think. Oh no, one more SCV. And SCVs are being transferred at the moment. Some Marines are shooting at these Phoenixes. And ooh, these Phoenixes do run into the missile turret. Not the best idea over there. But he does manage to save all the SCVs. Stem pack as well as the Marine Combat Shield. Which gives him more HP or being researched. And the Yancy is going to come in here and try to do some harass. There is one Observer in position. And another Banshee is coming down from the south position. We'll be able to dual harass. There are two Observers, but he's... Actually spreading his units a little bit thin. One Banshee over here with 8 kills. One Banshee here with 3 kills. Very, very effective. Harassed by Sarens at the moment. And he really needs to spread out his force over the two base because it's a little bit difficult to handle both Banshees at the same time. The other Banshee is... Did it go down? I wonder. If we take a look at the units lost tab, I don't think it went down. And he's actually spreading out his phoenixes, and he will be able to see that their banshee is over at the lower left-hand corner. He, if you looked at the minimap, he did spread out his phoenix to search for that banshee. He was able to take it down. And we do see Storm is currently being researched by Sar Sock at the moment, and Sarens is going to be able to grab the concussive shell for his marauders. If we take a look at the unit composition, both players are not that heavy on the units at the moment. They have a lot of probes and SCVs, but not that many units. A handful of Marines, a couple of tanks, and these Phoenixes want to pick off those tanks, but the Marines are not going to be able to let them because this Viking and the Marines are very, very deadly to these paper airplanes. Two, bro two probes going around to the edges, checking out exactly what's going on. One observer staying there to get early warning, another observer staying over here to give early warning. Very, very good positioning of the observers. We'll be able to detect those banshees before they come in and give them time enough to react. And, ooh, he actually catches one Viking out of position and does able to snipe it off. These Phoenixes incredibly fast. All four Phoenixes still on full HP at the moment. Now, knowing that his opponent, Sirens, is going to run across the map, he's going to actually make an archon from those two Templars. Because those two Templars, although they did spawn, they did not have they do not have enough energy for the Storm. And an archon is incredibly good. It does have a lot of HP. One Garden Shield goes off, and he's going to pick up all three tanks. Very, very nice micro there by... Sock, and he's going to be able to take this game as well. Very, very nice play by both players. A lot of reaction and great ideas. Hope you guys enjoy that. If you like what you see, please subscribe or click on the lower left-hand corner where the like button does exist. And I'll see you guys at game number three. Whee!
Bye.